what's happening, Lex, back today for another Brawl Stars video. And today, we have a very special guest, the voice actor for Fang in Brawl Stars, Nicholas Contreras. How are you doing, Nick? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, listen, the real question I got for you is, do you like martial arts movies? And if so, which one's your favorite? Uh, um, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I do like martial arts movies. I'm not sure if I'm a connoisseur, though, though but like... Uh... <laughs> Does Matrix count? I mean, Does sort it? of. There's there's a lot of martial arts happening in it. It's yeah, it's it's like martial arts inspired, sort of. Which you know what? It's your interview. We'll go with it. Sure enough, Matrix. That's it. I wasn't the answer okay. I was expecting. I was thinking like Enter the Dragon or I, oh, I don't dang. know. That's before my time, man. I was born in the '90s. <laughs> oh wait, you were born in the '90s. Dang, I'm I old. The 90s, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we know that you're a little bit younger, and uh, you're from New Zealand, right? Yeah, I'm from New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. So did you grow up in New Zealand or? Uh, I was born in the Philippines, but I came over as a baby. I grew okay. up in New Zealand. But my accent is kind of like a blend because at the same time that I was growing up here, they were playing shows like The Nanny and Friends, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So oh, yeah. people sometimes go, oh, yeah, I can hear a certain American twang. And then they go, wait, but there's other stuff going on. What's <laughs> getting <laughs> What <pissed>. are you? <laughs> what are you? Where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Other important question, since, you know, Fang and Brawl Stars loves, you know, martial arts movies, popcorn. You, popcorn, oh, yes. Yeah. Who doesn't love popcorn? <laughs> I mean, that was kind of a stupid question. You're right. Who doesn't love popcorn? So how did you get into voice acting, man? Long story short was like, I started taking voice acting classes. And before that, it came from my interest in on-camera classes. And that came from an experience I had where they were filming the Disney live action of Mulan in New Zealand. And then I like, uh, I had an opportunity to be one of those soldiers and, you know, do some marching and stuff. But... That's essentially how it turned out. It's like, Mulan, oh, on camera, oh, voice acting, oh, <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm here. <laughs> so you didn't set out to be a voice actor. You wanted to be just a, a normal actor. I don't know how else to say that without sounding uh, condescending. I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's not like I, I was like a kid watching TV and I was like, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Like, it's, right. just, it's just like, um, oh, acting's fun. Oh, voice acting's fun. Oh, I can do this. <laughs> like, wait, wait. Yeah. So you were you were actually in the the live action movie Mulan? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no speaking roles, but like if you if you look really closely and you pause, you might see my face blurred out. <laughs> <laughs> like those two pixels over there. That's yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like like in between like the main characters' like shoulders, you might see someone go like like that. <laughs> <laughs> Being from New Zealand, so you're saying you, that you weren't in the Lord of the Rings. I knew what was going on, but I, I didn't have an opportunity to, to get involved in that. But, uh, I really yeah. thought you were. Okay, well, end of interview. So after you got into voice acting then, what was like the first job that you did? Like, this is my first job as a paid voice actor was what? My first job was, um, I believe it was an explainer video for South China Morning Post or something. Okay. Uh, I think I was talking about the Silk Road or something. The Silk Road was an ancient trade route in ancient China and whatnot. And then that's all I remember from that video. <laughs> <laughs> I did that, and that's yeah. I actually do remember that. I think everyone remembers their first, um, sure, their first VO job. So how long ago was that? How long have you been doing this? Maybe like two and a half years ago. So about, it's still relatively half, new to the. Relatively to the, new, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, have you done any like like you know games or animations or anything else that we might know? Are, are you aware of Path of Exile? I'm not. No. But that uh, doesn't okay. mean much. I'm very unhip. <laughs> so it's made by a studio here in New Zealand. I play one of. The bosses, I guess, uh, called Utrid, I think. So I, I guess if you're hitting the, ha you're hacking the guy, and he's going, like, ah. I'm like that's probably me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have gotten to work on some like indie games and stuff, that's but cool. like um, sometimes there will be indie developers um, having a, posting a call out, and then I'll go for that, and sometimes they'll they'll pick me, and I'll be like, yep, <laughs> cool. That's cool. That's a, that's a visual novel there, or like a platform gamer there, or whatever. <laughs> So then Brawl Stars was like a rather big thing. Did you, I mean, did you realize it was Supercell and Brawl Stars when you got the gig? Actually, funny you say that. I only found out when I got the gig. Oh, yeah? <laughs> for the for the brief, um, when I auditioned, it was just like, this is the character Fang. This is his personality. These are some of his lines. This is kind of how, how he is. And then I was like, cool. And I sent the audition. I was like, just send it out. Don't worry about it. It came back. I booked the job. The person who was directing me essentially said, um, okay, cool. Uh, you're here for Fang. Do you know what this game is? And I'm like, oh, I, I don't know. And you're like, all stars. I'm like, oh, really? And I'm like, 
What's that? What's <laughs> <laughs> that? But yeah, I I checked it and I was like, dang, they got a they got a big following. So uh-huh. I feel uh, very very grateful and honored to be a part of it. I was gonna ask if you had played Brawl Stars, but I'm assuming from the last answer that question that answer is no. I've actually played it a little. I got interested because of it. I played. Sure. I started playing a little bit. I'm still relatively new, but sure. um, I I have a fair idea of yeah most of the brawlers because I try and rotate them to like uh-huh. balance out my my rank. <laughs> sure. Have you unlocked? yourself no because um I, like i joined a bit later right i've been gem grinding <laughs> you're almost yeah, yeah, there so. you just keep grinding you'll get there how did they describe fang in like the brief you know usually they'll give like a little blurb of something about him you know how do they describe the character i think they describe him as sort of like a peter parter esque but like goofy but cool but like an 80s kind of kid but an <laughs> actor <laughs> like, um yeah uh, and i was like works at a movie house um something about possibly having a crush on shelly i don't know <laughs> and I'm oh. like, Shelley. <laughs> interesting uh, possibly, no, this... possibly possibly man <laughs> hey you know what we're gonna take it roll with it because i like that okay so he may possibly perhaps but he does have a crush on shelly okay <laughs> so speaking of fang would you mind to do some of the voice lines for us no Okay. Nah, well, sure, sure. Sounds good. good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, sure. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. My foot, your face. It's on. Assault and buttery. Buttery smooth moves. I'm popping off, losers. Hey, hey, hey. Enough about you. Let's focus on me. Golden Fang. Dragon Fang! Furious Fang! Dude, those were great, man. I, that, that was actually really spot on. Thank you so much, man. Have you ever done martial arts yourself? Um, when, I, <laughs> when I was very, very young, yeah, I saw Karate Kid. I was like, that looks cool. Let's do that. I took like maybe like one or two classes as like a kid. I was like, it's not what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you were so, all ready to be over here like, ah. Yeah, yeah. Because they had this weird progression where uh, I, I remember it quite vividly. You know how they go through the belt system? They're like white mm-hmm. belt. Yep. And then this belt and this whatever belt. Before you, you got to the white belt, you had to go through like the different colors of the rainbow. <laughs> You're like, I don't like, want to be a brown belt. I didn't even get to my white belt, man. I was like, I think I was red rainbow. So that's like the first color of the rainbow, and I was like, nope. <laughs> uh, we just tell nobody that. We're, n- we're just not going to tell anybody yeah. that. We're just say, hey, listen, he's this guy, he's a martial artist. At heart. Technically <laughs> kind of true. So yeah. you're a third degree black belt, and you love movies, <laughs> so basically you are a fang, which is pretty awesome. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually, it's funny, because I was talking to a mate, and he actually sent me a clip, because he plays Brawl Stars as well. He sent me a okay. clip of, of the character with the voice lines, and he's like... Oh man, it's too much like you. I won't be able to like disassociate like from the character when I'm like. Not only if he's your friend, but like even in your case, whenever you unlock Fang, it'd be such a weird experience to be playing and listening to yourself do the voice lines. You know how there's that section where it says brawlers to be released. Yeah. And then you can like play test them. Yep, yep. Yeah, I was just like running around play testing. I'm like, I was super critical of like my work. I'm like, I'm like, oh. No, oh, no, oh, I can't listen to this. <laughs> yeah, but I su- I'm assuming it's, it's it's probably like that for um, all voice actors. They're, they're like you're like hypercritical of like your own kind of stuff, but then everyone else doesn't notice. So if you were to have one job in the voiceover world that is like your dream job, what would it be? Oh, weren't prepared for that one, were you? No, I was not prepared for that. No, I, I, yeah, I'd love to like uh, work on like an animation for say DreamWorks or something like that. Like How to Train Your Dragon is is one of my Ooh, one of my favorite movies. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's weird because I, you always think of like voice actors. This is completely random, but I, when I always think of initially, I've always thought about voice actors. You think of those guys with like you know like the James Earl Jones type of voices, right? You know the oh, yeah. the big deep voice, like and that's so not my voice, <laughs> but. <laughs> that's, not, that's not your voice either, and you're still doing great. So I guess there's all types of voices that need it, and so maybe I could be a voice actor one day. I'm looking at you, DreamWorks. Don't hire Nick. Hire this guy right Don't now. hire Nick. Hire this. <laughs> not me. This. <laughs> what, 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 are you, what kind of hobbies you got? What, what do you do for fun? Uh, I enjoy uh, singing for fun. I guess. Well, just for fun. Like I used to be in an a cappella group in, in university. I also used to play... The saxophone in like in high school but it is interesting that you mentioned you know singing and music because almost every voice actor i've ever spoke to they're all very musically inclined yeah like um it, it actually it really does help i think there's like musicality to, towards um the way certain things are done so like they might be like say say it like this like i like frosted flakes 
I like Frosted Flake. Like, it's got like a different kind of, um, yeah, if, if you play a musical instrument or you do some singing or whatever and you can differentiate between pitches and the musicality of something, it, it's, it's easier to take direction because you can pick out the differences. Gotcha. Actually, I saw a clip of you singing. You sing well. Wait, did you see my singing? I have often dreamed of a far off place where a great warm welcome will be waiting for me. So this is kind of spur of the moment, but you do have Brawl Stars on your phone. Oh, I, I do have Brawl Stars on my phone. <laughs> Would you like to play a game with me? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> all right. Oh, man, my hands are getting all clammy. <laughs> are you? Are you getting nervous? Too much pressure, man. I'm jimmy right now. I'm spending money so that I can unlock <laughs> Fang on my second account. See there? See there? We just unlocked Nicholas. Since you've been playing, I know you've been rotating them all. Who's your favorite brawler that you've played so far? I like playing Spike, but Spike is a bit squishy sometimes. <laughs> like, did you gym up and get Spike? Did you did you buy him? No, no. I actually got like I think Spike was my first. Le is it legendary? Legendary, yeah. Yeah, Ye yellow, yellow color, <laughs> <laughs> yellow shade. <laughs> yeah, I opened a box. It's like doo, 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 Spike. And I'm like, cool. Dude, that's really <laughs> lucky. Did you like uh, his voice acting? It's impeccable, man. Just it, it's, it's, not uh, a single cannot flaw. Be replaced. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boom, there he is. Oh, what, dude, you've already got 500 trophies with Spike. Oh. But you I'm still, hey, I, I told you, I'm still not that good. <laughs> dude, you're killing it. What are you talking about? You got 10K trophies? I'm looking at I'm your profile right now. Like, officially, I think, besides the voice actor for Bull, I think you've played Brawl Stars more than any of the other voice actors I've talked to. I think it's it's because it's I'm stubborn. Like, you know how you rank up and you get trophies, and then uh -huh. once you get a trophy, it goes, it, it gives you that little skull thing in, like, the bottom left. Moving the tears or whatever, it gives you progress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I, I, I have to, like, get, to the get next it up one? to, like, the next, yeah. And yeah. Go, oh, yes. Okay. Dude. Rotate. Rotate. <laughs> Let's get this. I can't believe that you actually have this many trophies. That's that's pretty awesome. Total, I'm sitting on 10k, but I'm like, that's not that high. Oh, but don't, but still, regardless, it's still really good. Oh. Oh. I'm I'm button up oh. server. Carry me. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh, I tried. No. I almost no. got him. It's, it's time for you to carry. <laughs> I'm going in on the guys. Oh my gosh! I just chained oh, off no, four no. people. I ended up at the bottom of the map. Oh, no, no, dude, no. we're dead. Uh, we're so uh, dead. Uh, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead, man. Oh, just last uh, for one uh, more uh, second. Uh, 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 okay, I made it. <laughs> All right, watch oh, this. I made it. Nice. Oh, let's get out of nice. here. Oh, 14 power ups. I don't want any. Oh, look at that, dude. Yeah. We're winning. We're winning. Oh no! Uh, Do they both have 15? Smoke. All right. You know what? I am not going out like this. I'm just gonna. You know what? I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, we got second I place. Hero. What's your favorite game mode? Oh darn. Um. Bro, ball. You said awesome. Let's play it. Dude, look at it. He's going in hard. All right. Nice. Okay. Oh, he's going in. He's gonna make it. Oh, oh, give me the ball back. He's going in. Oh, he's gonna. He's facing two throwers. Yeah, that was gonna be rough. He's trying to tank it. <laughs> Do you know the special trick with Daryl? Like where you kick the what ball and then you roll to it? Ah. This is the moment. This is the moment we were waiting for. We've just been lulling them into a false sense of security, Nicholas. They don't know what's about to happen now. Except I hit a wall. We're going to just not talk about that. Kick it and then super to it. Kick it and then super to the ball. Where? Oh, oh, oh you know. no. <laughs> the wall works too. Uh, no, no. Oh, I'm giving it up, man. <laughs> oh. Come here, get them all! I killed them all! Nita, you better give that to me. That's right. Oh, wait. Nope, score, I don't want to score. score. Nope, score. I got to give it to you. This is what it wait, is. Why? Because uh, okay. that's the way this works. Uh, there it is! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about! You're clearly a better Brawl Stars player than all of the other voice actors, except for maybe Bull. I think I've seen Dynamite play, too. I don't know. You know what? You're the best. The best Brawl Stars voice actor player ever. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so where can people find you online? Like your, you know, Twitters and Instagram, dude, YouTube channels. What what do you got? Let people go follow you. Okay, so on on Twitter, I'm at N Contreras VO. Mm -hmm. Contreras VO. Contreras. <laughs> yeah, to say it cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Instagram, I'm Nicholas Contreras voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be links in the description of all of those things. Is Twitter, Instagram. You guys go follow them. Show them some love. Uh, Nicholas, is there anything else you'd like to say or tell us before we go? Thanks for having me on the show, and that was fantastic!